Assalamu alaikum. If you're new here, my name is Omar Abdullah, content creator and a student of knowledge. My goal is to share authentic Islamic knowledge in a bite-sized, digestible chunks. If you're loving this content, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new here. Ashhadu Assalamu alaikum. Today, I wanted to talk about a very important concept in Islam, and that is husnu dhan billah, or having a good expectation of Allah. Narrated by Abu Hurairah, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Allah says, I am just as my slave thinks I am, meaning I am able to do for him what he thinks I can do for him." And I am with him if he remembers me. If he remembers me in himself, I too remember him in myself. And if he remembers me in a group of people, I remember him in a group that is better than them. And if he comes one span nearer to me, I go one cubit nearer to him. And if he comes one cubit nearer to me, I go a distance of two outstretched arms nearer to him. And if he comes to me walking, I go to him running. This is one of the great ahadith of hope that urged Muslims to have good expectations of Allah and to remember him abundantly. It also underlines how Allah draws closer to his slaves whenever they draw closer to him by means of performing various acts of obedience. The hadith begins with calling the slave of Allah to have good expectations of his Lord always and in all circumstances. In the hadith, Allah explained that he is as his slave expects him to be, meaning he treats him in accordance with his own expectation of his Lord and does for him what he expects of him, be it good or bad. If a person has good expectations of Allah and hopes for his reward, Allah will not fail him nor cause his deeds to be lost. Whenever a slave supplicates to Allah, he expects Allah to answer his supplications. If he commits a sin and repents and seeks forgiveness, he expects Allah to accept his repentance, pardon his faults, and forgive his sin. If he performs a good deed, he expects Allah to accept his deed and reward him handsomely. These are all examples of having good expectations of Allah. The Prophet ﷺ said, Supplicate to Allah with certainty that your supplication will be answered. Having good expectations of Allah is thus among the implications and requirements of Tawheed because it is based on the knowledge of Allah's mercy, might, kindness, and true reliance on Him. When a person has an authentic and great knowledge about these things, the fruit of these knowledge yields is having good expectation of Allah. In the Qur'an, Allah despises a group of people who had bad expectations of Him, and He underlines that their bad expectations were actually one of the key signs of their hypocrisy and hidden wickedness. When the hypocrites fled and abandoned the Prophet and his companions during the Battle of Uhud, Allah says about them, While another party was thinking about themselves as to how to save their own selves, ignoring the others and the Prophet, and thought wrongly of Allah, the thought of ignorance. Allah again says about the hypocrites and polytheists, Those who assume about Allah an assumption of evil nature, upon them is a misfortune of evil nature. The hadith 
urges us to give precedence to having hope in Allah over having fear of Him. Because any sane person who receives this invitation from Allah would not willingly choose for himself the expectations that will inflict upon him the promised punishment. Rather, he will choose to have good expectations, which is that Allah will bless him with his reward, pardon, and forgiveness, and that he will receive what has been promised, and that is, Allah will treat him in accordance with his good expectations of him. This hope in Allah is required for a Muslim, especially at times of weakness and need for him, like the situation of a dying person. A dying person should have good expectations of Allah more than anyone else. And this is why the Prophet wasallam said, Let not one of you die without having good expectations of Allah. Therefore, one should strive to perform his duties while believing with certainty that Allah will accept his deeds and forgive him because he promised to do that and Allah never fails in his promise. If he expects Allah to turn him down or that his repentance will be of no avail, then this is despair of the mercy of Allah and it is a major sin. Whoever dies while despairing his mercy Allah will make his bad expectations come true. I would just like to clarify that having good expectations of Allah entails doing righteous deeds. It does not mean that you are doing all these bad things and are lazy doing your religious duties as a Muslim. And at the back of your mind, you are hoping that Allah will not punish you. That's delusional or self-deception. A Muslim should not rely solely on having hope in Allah and having good expectations of Him without duly performing acts of obedience because this would be foolish and it also implies feeling safe from Allah's punishments. On the other hand, he should not give predominance to fear of Allah over hope in Him lest it leads him to have bad expectations of Allah and accordingly fall into despair of his mercy, and both attitudes are blameworthy. Rather, it is binding for a Muslim to have good expectations of Allah along with diligently performing acts of obedience. Some of the righteous predecessors used to say, Your hope for the mercy of the one whom you disobey indicates delusion and foolishness. Wala wa'alam and Allah knows best.